Okie dokie, guys. So we've got a busy day today. We've got this driveway. We got this pool area, rust removal, and then we've got uh, one of our quarterly contracts that we're going to do later tonight. So, filling up, and let's get into it. So as we got done with the backside, we're going to the front side where there's a ton of mold on this aggregate, and then we're getting the brick on the rust removal right here. I'll actually show you how to do this right now. We have a rust stain right here. We filled this bad boy with half water and about, uh, just, I want to say like 15% at prime. It is strong, I'll tell you that. You're just going to let it well. Don't let it get on your skin. Do not let it get on your skin. Because this is acid. And then you just got to make sure you're watching this stuff. Because they will discolor this cap uh, this aggregate if you, if, if you let it be. So you just got to be very diligent. And after a few rinses, it is good. It is good to go. No rust, but just make sure that you are rinsing. God bless. I can't emphasize it enough, guys. Hey, forever who, whoever said that I don't do legs, man, come on with it. Okay, guys. So as I revel up my hoses, I always give the customer acquisition, the job cost, and of course, a secret hack if you guys watch these day in the lives. And guys, how we acquired this customer was via Google. She loved the reviews. She loved the photos of our guys working. She really thought it was a strong presence. The job cost was 500 bucks. Didn't take too long and we were able to crank that out. A secret hack that I've got for you guys, and I think you guys will really like this one that I'm going to start emphasizing myself, is utilizing financing. You can do this through WiseTech or any other external vendor, but if you can offer financing with $1,000 jobs, $1,500, $2,000, $3,000, or even like a $20,000 job, people are more likely to close on you even if you have the slightest increase in closing percentage with financing that is a no-brainer so instead of having to pay one totality of a payment of let's just use simple math of a thousand dollars they can do 10 payments of 110 depending on the interest rate but it seems more enticing for them and i'm definitely going to be starting to utilize this Okay, guys, so after the residential job, we go to one of our commercial quarterly contracts. This includes kind of the all back steps in this dumpster pad. I get a lot of questions about dumpster pads, and I'll tell you later in the video how I actually acquired this. But essentially, the cleaning process of this is I apply a sodium hypochlorite mix 
Then I surface clean around the dumpster pad. This dumpster pad should be cleaned out. I notified them, so next time it will be cleaned out. Uh, I do not want to be messing around with everything, so I, my job's just there to clean. Um, and I made that very, very clear. But essentially, we do that. We surface clean, and then we put a hydroxide mix on the thick, thick food grease. You, these things are nasty. They're disgusting. But hey, it pays. And this is the hydroxide mix after it came out really dang good. These are the dumpster pads after. We're not miracle workers by any means, but they look much better. Let's get to these steps. These things are gross. Ew. All these black marks, these will go. And it'll just be sodium hypochlorite. And they have some grease stains, which we'll put on the hydro uh, hydroxide. Okay, as I ravel up my hoses, I wanted to address one thing for all the haters out there. Look, I know I got some crazy sweatpants on right now, but I cannot afford my skin to get sodium hydroxide on it. I do not want that. That stuff will burn you. It'll eat your skin alive. I do not want that. Okay, so I told you guys I would tell you how I acquired this job and this is actually a quarterly contract yes I think this is so big for any business to get reoccurring work like this and guys I walked in and asked I walked in and asked these guys I really built a strong relationship with the managers and the decision makers and we proved our concept uh, and they loved it so um, give a free demo spot. I can't tell you how much this is, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, walk in, ask, and also give a demo spot. Look, I wanted to have some real talk with you guys because I know a lot of you guys may be struggling with this right now, but I wanted to read a quote. How your friends react when you win is far more telling than how they react when you lose. Anyone can pity someone who's down, but only a real friend can see you win and celebrate. Guys, look, your friends are so critical in this life, in this business. They are so vital. So you need to share those wins with other individuals. You have to be genuine with them. Genuinely want to see your friends succeed. You want to be at the bottom of the, the five friends that you surround yourself with. Truly. Like, if you aspire to have success in this fucking life, you want to be at the bottom of those five friends. You want to see your friends having so much damn success that you are more motivated to go out there and get some. But guys, don't hang with the losers. Hang with the winners. Body like a summer. <laughs> Come on. God bless. Touch you like no other. Don't you tell it what you've done. I'm on that 2014 wave. Shout out. Shout out if you lived in that 2014 gin. Ooh, that's, a, that's some of the best music you'll hear. I'll tell you that. Ah! Woo! That's it. That is it. <laughs> Body like a summer. <laughs> Click exit. I don't want to see this video anymore. Look, I got good vocals, man. You can't, you can't deny that. You can't deny that at all. I should try out for uh, America's Got Talent <laughs> with pressure washing and vocals. It's so stupid. When it gets late night, I'm, I act a fool. So, right, if you guys want to see more of the late night shift, we got more coming up. So let me know. Let me know. 
But tomorrow morning, we're going to go and get a lift in. And uh, I got some cool news for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Peace. Yes, sir. So welcome to the next morning. And I am getting my trailer out of the shop. I slept in a little bit. So, you know, you had to do what you got to do sometimes. <laughs> Not going to lie. But we're going to get it out. We're going to rock and roll. We're going to attack the day as everyone should be right now. I am going to meet over there at around 1045. We've got a gutter clean, patio clean, and we've got driveway clean, window clean. All four of those aspects. Um, I'm excited. You guys should be too. I'm a little bit tired, but fuck, the work needs doing, right? So we got to the job site, and you can see how dirty these gutters are. They're pretty gross. Um, these windows are really, really gross. This place always gets an annual cleaning. This is going to be the third time we clean this guy's house. He really likes our work, so, and we really like him. He's an awesome guy. Got nothing but great things to say about him. Filled with algae, but yeah, we got these gutters did the gutter clean initially and then we did a little bit of the soft wash of the roof just a small part we threw it in for free why not um and yeah we then went to the back patio pre-soaked the area sometimes i like putting bleach on windows and rinsing them after it makes it just a lot easier uh rinse the patio surface clean but guys enjoy I wanted to regurgitate this back to you guys, but window cleaning is an awesome upsell. It's super easy. And guys, this setup was like less than 500 bucks. The Amazon water-fed pole and the Amazon DI tank. The Amazon water-fed pole actually comes with that neon type hose as well. So a uh, really good deal in my opinion. But all you have to do is just scrub those windows, boom, 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 and then you dissolve it into a mixture, then rinse it after. You're using DI, ionized water, which basically is pure water, essentially. A lot of people call it pure water, but it just makes the windows so dang good. It really does. It's relatively very, very easy. Anyone can basically do this, and if you haven't added this service, I would highly recommend it, truly. You can increase your average ticket and... Uh, the customer really appreciates it. And guys, how I acquired this customer was through a referral. This guy has been super loyal for three years. The job cost of this is about 750 bucks each time. Really, really nice. I love doing it. Super, super awesome. And uh, it just takes about three hours-ish. So not too bad. Um, guys, let's keep on rolling. That is it. It's rainy, it's thundery, I'm tired. But who else isn't tired? There's no excuse to be tired. But we got the gutters, uh, kind of soft wash some of the roof as well. Patio, driveway, mats, other patio, windows. Nice, nice. And uh, then we've got to drain our stuff. I kind of love, uh, I kind of love rain washes. They're pretty fun, not gonna lie. My camera's getting wet, so I gotta make this quick. But guys, keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing, I promise you it'll come. But guys, oh, 
I gotta flip that. Woke up late, so there's gonna be no lift today, but I'll show you the lunch. I got the flow going, if you can see that. Kind of. Got straight ass hair, but yeah. Lock and load, lock and load. Oh my goodness. All right guys, I wanted to talk about one thing. I know it's rainy as hell, so maybe you guys can hear me, maybe you guys can't. But the fear of failure. I see a lot of people, they won't take the risk on themselves. They will not uh, justify that risk on themselves because they're fucking afraid of failing. Why? Why? We're all gonna die either way. We're all gonna die either way. So why be afraid of failing? If you wanna start a business, if you wanna go after the girl, if you want to start something big, an empire, why not take the risk? Why live with the regret of what if? I see so many people get stuck. And let me just give you an example with this business. If they want to start this business and they're stuck in their W-2, they're stuck in this complacency bubble and they're trying to find a way out. Sometimes you have to just take the fucking leap. Sometimes you just have to take the risk on yourself. Because quite frankly, if you're a betting man, I would bet on myself every single time. If you gave me a long enough horizon, and you gave me a long enough time to engage in knowledge or train for the event, I'm betting on myself every single time because I'm the motherfucker that I trust. But do you trust yourself? Ask yourself truly, do you trust yourself? Are you doing the stuff that you say you're going, you're going to do, but then you never do it? That's the first step. If you're going to say you are going to do something, if you're going to say you're going to do something, do it. Whether that's go to the gym at five o'clock, whether that's go up to the girl, whether that's eat this certain type of diet, you have to start building a rapport within yourself. Once you start to do that, then you're gonna be able to take that leap of faith. But guys, look, I see the fear of failure uh, how so many people, and I do not want you guys to be one of those. And shout out to whoever's at the end of this video. Guys, I told you that I have some exciting news that I would tell you. I'm closing on my second rental property here in the next two weeks, which I'm very, very excited about. But guys, I'm posting every Tuesday, Friday, and winners win, losers lose, and you should definitely subscribe if you wanna win. Guys, you should go and take a look at the next video. I'm gonna get out of here. Peace.